Hey everybody, it's Joe Delera, and I've got two of my favorite plays for today's Monday NBA slate. The first play that I'm looking at is the Cleveland Cavaliers minus four, and I like this up to four and a half and five. Look, this is a rest spot for this Boston Celtics team that just suffered a brutal double overtime loss to my New York Knicks over there, and they are going to be thin today. I expect them to rest a couple guys. Namely, Robert Williams was already going to be out due to a hamstring injury. Danilo Gallinari still continues to be out. But Al Horford, who is their really only other major remaining big, is unlikely to play after playing in that double overtime game. So I think we're going to be seeing a little bit more Blake Griffin at the center position, which is going to be tough for them matchup-wise and stylistically against this Cleveland Cavaliers team. Additionally, the Celtics are also unsure of the status of Malcolm Brogdon due to his ankle injury. This game seems ripe for a rest spot and maybe a reset spot for Boston as they had to travel from Boston to Cleveland on this back-to-back -back after playing the double overtime spot. Look, I think that this is a tough matchup in general for Boston and Jared Allen and Evan Mobley should have big games for the Cavs. I know that Donovan Mitchell is on the injury report today, but even if he's unable to play, I'm gonna be immediately targeting Darius Garland assists. And I think that this is a game where Cleveland is going to dominate in the front court. So even if Mitchell's unable to go, I'm not totally concerned about where the spread is or what the line is or how the Cavaliers will fare. I like the Cavs to cover the number at home, a spot where they're 22, 11 and one against the spread. So I like the Cavs at minus four. For my second play, we're looking at a mini ladder scenario here. And I like Jamal Murray to go over two and a half threes with four plus at plus 165. I know there's a decent amount of juice in the two and a half. You can find this around minus 140, but that's why we like to add that extra leg there. He's exceeded this in eight of 10 games and he's got four plus in five of 10. Why I like this is that since the Pirtle trade, Toronto is allowing opponents to shoot 42.1% from three. And the trade, although Pirtle has given them size in the interior, it's affected their defense a bit as they need to play a bit more drop as opposed to switching everything, which is something that they're more accustomed to. Additionally, I like Denver in this game and they've been exceptional at home and on extra rest. And that should give Murray some fresher legs as well. When Denver's played on two days of rest, they have a net rating of plus 14 this season. If the offense is humming, I expect that Murray will be a large part of that. So I like him to go over two and a half threes and also make four plus at plus 165. So to recap, my two favorite plays for today's NBA slate are the Cavaliers minus four and Jamal Murray over two and a half threes with four plus as well. Best of luck on your wagers today. Enjoy the rest of your Mondays.